Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the second part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood. So before we have any of our kids, there is something new that they added in the game pack that we can explore now, and that is the parenting book thing. So we're gonna go ahead and put down a bookshelf, and we're gonna explore the parenting book thing. <laughs> but um, anyways, let me go ahead and just find a cheap bookshelf. Oh, and look, the cheapest bookshelf came from Parenthood. How about that? So we're going to go ahead and plop this in our room. Actually, we don't have enough room in our room for it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and place it in our computer office. And let's choose a color for it. I think we might just keep it white because it kind of matches everything else. But we're going to have her go ahead and purchase books. And we should be able to find the pregnancy ones. I'm not sure if there's like a category for it, if it's children's. If it's, oh, it's it's probably skill, because it's parenting skill. So it's probably going to be here. Okay, we have baking, we have care, care, charismatic, charisma, sorry. <laughs> I just rolled out of bed. My speech is always slurred. Comedy, cooking, fishing, fitness, gardening, gourmet cooking. Ooh, guitar volume one. Um, handiness, herbalism logic mischief mixology painting here it is so they've added parenting to it so we have parenting volume one learning to crawl we're gonna go ahead and get that can we afford the next books i don't know if we can or maybe we should wait for them first steps we might get one of those as well um volume three is removing the training wheels and that actually costs a lot of money and then that's it there's only three okay Oh, so we can afford all three of all three books. So let's just go ahead and buy all three books because we're gonna need them eventually. So why not? Thank you for ordering. The objects purchased can be found in the bookshelf you purchased for. You purchased them for. <laughs> See, I can't read. This is what happens when I wake up and roll out of bed. I just cannot read whatsoever, and it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna have her go ahead and serve up some breakfast. I'm actually going to get rid of the popcorn machine because I do not like it there. And I'm going to go ahead and my iPad's going off. Sorry about that. I forgot to mute the notifications. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and we'll just have her like clean up all this stuff here. So I'm going to have her go ahead and clean that up really quickly. And then we're going to have her go ahead and cook some breakfast. So let's see. What can we make for breakfast? <gasps> Scrambled eggs with bacon. Ooh. I kind of wanted to do that. And I just remembered, none of these sims are vegetarian, so we don't have to worry about making something that any of the sims can't eat. So let's go ahead and make scrambled eggs with bacon, and we'll, we will go ahead and make a family size, which is four servings. But I love the PJs that came with Parenthood. Look at them. They're like little bunnies and little clouds, and I love them. I love them. So she's gonna go ahead and cook. It's so dark and dreary in this house because everything's a mess and I hate it, but it's whatever. He does work today too. I believe he works in a few hours. Let me see. Oh, he's off until Tuesday. So he's off Monday. Okay, so he works tomorrow. So he does have off today. Okay, well then we might have him start working on his skill. So he needs to play video games and I don't even know if we can afford a game console. I'm hoping we'll be able to afford a video game system. They're probably super expensive. Oh my god, they are. Ooh, $399. Okay, he's just gonna go ahead and video game on the computer because obviously we can't afford that yet, so I'm not gonna do that just yet. Um, oh god, did I really place... Did I really place this right there? It's, it's floating in midair and I don't like it. How do I fix it? Yeah, it's floating in midair because it's too long. It's too long. It was floating in midair. I feel so bad. <laughs> okay, so when he go... Duh, duh, duh. I cannot talk. What is wrong with me? I cannot English. I cannot English. When he gets out of the shower, I'm going to go ahead and have him sit at the bar counter so he can go ahead and eat. Is this where you're sitting? I figured as much. Go ahead and grab a serving of some breakfast. He like did a full spin. He was like, wee. 
and go ahead and sit down and have some scrambled eggs with bacon and go ahead and talk with your girlfriend. Go ahead and joke about politicians. Go ahead and tell her an engaging story. Tell her an inside joke. Go ahead and discuss interest with her. We're just going to try and get our relationship up. Our flirty meter is all the way up, but our friend meter is not. So I definitely want to... Whoa. Why is she feeling pissy? Oh, is it because of morning sickness? It is. Amanda wakes up feeling violently ill and if something was pushing her insides all around. So she is currently feeling morning sick and I believe she still is in the first trimester until two hours. And then she will be in the second trimester. But right now she's feeling all of the illnesses from her pregnancy because usually those happen during the first trimester. She's in such a bad mood. You know what? We're going to have her do the interactions then. Complain about problems. Events. Just get it out. Complain to him that you don't feel good. You feel like crap. Let it out. This is literally me every day. I just complain about my problems to everybody. Okay, so that helped things. That helped things. Go ahead and share the big news. I don't even know if he knows. Does he even, like, know? Get to know him a little bit. And you can complain about fruitcake? Oh, I went away. Oh, there it is. Complain about fruitcake to him. Always oh, happy. Don't complain about dish. Well, actually, you made it, so you can complain about it. But if he made it and you were to complain about it, no, that's not a good idea. Go ahead and boast about family. Um, Go ahead and ask him about his day, even though it's barely started and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. That makes no sense, but... Okay, I guess maybe the start of his day was okay. Go ahead and express admiration to him. Uh, we'll go ahead and let me see. Discuss food flavors. Ooh, that came with Dine Out. They've added like a lot of cool stuff, and I love it. I love it. I love it. Deep conversation. So we're getting our friend meter up. Hopefully, we're at least considered friends. I mean, I know we're a boyfriend and girlfriend, but I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody that we barely know. I don't want it to feel like that. So I'm going to try my best to make sure that, you know. We have that friend meter up. Go ahead and tell him a joke about mimes. Let's go ahead and just be funny for a little bit. And look, now she's happy, so it kind of helped. Go ahead and tell him a funny story. Go ahead and make funny faces to him. I love that. I love the funny faces one. That one's funny. Joke about politicians. And then we're going to go ahead and tell an inside joke. So Amanda can now tell knock-knock jokes about other sims because she reached comedy skill level two. So that's pretty cool. And I noticed that they're doing more talking than eating. That's the hilarious part. Is when you make them do social interactions while they're eating, they'll spend more time talking to each other. And <laughs> That's funny. They'll spend more time talking to each other than actually eating, and it's absolutely hilarious. Okay, go ahead and clean up your plate. Go ahead and clean up your plate. What are you doing? You need to finish eating. Are you even done eating? Eat. Girl. Oh, Eat. Cartoon. Okay, I'm gonna have him go ahead and get a head start on the video games. I ha I am gonna have him read the parenting books as well, but I'm gonna have her read them first because she's the one that's pregnant. So she's gonna be the one giving birth. But they will both be great parents, and I will make sure that they are. But here's the thing. Because of what happened, you guys said in the comment section below of the first part, you guys told me how much you loved the backstory and everything, and I want to thank you guys for that. Thank you for showing your support and all that stuff for this LP. I really appreciate it. So, I have a little more backstory for you guys. Since his parents died in a car accident and it's been really hard for him, he is actually going to be a strict parent, and she is going to be the more lenient one. So, it's going to kind of conflict, you know... It's going to be a big conflict with parenting between these two, but I feel like that will make the story interesting. He's going to be really strict on the kids, so when he disciplines them, he's going to be very strict. When she disciplines them, she's going to be very lenient because that's just how she is. And the only reason why he's like that is because he lost both of his parents. So to lose his kids would just completely do him in, if that makes sense. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of that, if you really like that idea. I want to um, I want to expand on that farther. So go ahead and leave more comments down in the comment section below um, with other things that I should do. So yeah, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause here. Let's go ahead and play some video games. <gasps> Practice programming. I'm surprised that's not on that list yet, but if it says video games, we will play video games. Web. It's not even on web. 
more choices. Maybe it's in here. Play game. There we go. We're going to go ahead and play Sims Forever. Is that Sims 3 or Sims 2 that they're going to play? I don't remember. Oh, it's Sims 1. He's playing Sims 1 while I am playing a Sim and controlling him. That's kind of creepy. You guys, what if we're all Sims and we're being controlled right now? By, like, another existence that's, like, even bigger. And then that existence yeah. is being controlled by another existence that's even bigger. Boom. Mind blown. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and put away the food. And she is about to pee herself, so I'm going to have her go ahead and use the toilet really quickly. There we go. And I'm going to have her go ahead and take a steamy shower. Because I love hot steamy showers when I wake up. They're absolutely awesome. She does have some moolah. She has bad joke. Nothing is quite as tedious as a poorly told joke. That's hilarious. Bad aftertaste from that food. Oof. Guess she didn't like it. And now she... Okay, so she's now in the second trimester. Amanda is well into her pregnancy now and excited to be a mother. So the third trimester starts in 24 hours. So she's getting there. And I did change... Um, I did change the lot trait um, from... I forget what it was. It was like art something. I did change it from whatever it was to on lay lime. So it will help them have more children. There is a higher chance of having either twins or triplets instead of just having one single baby. And I wanted that. I really wanted that. So that's cool. And then she's feeling on a roll. She has, she's been telling a lot of jokes. So since she's in a playful mood, I am going to have her keep telling jokes today. Just so she can keep that streak and keep that playful mood because I don't want her to feel uncomfortable. Because when those go away, she's going to feel uncomfortable. Oh, never mind. That's gone. <laughs> That's gone. She wants to buy a dishwasher. I don't think we're going to be doing that because we don't really have the money for that. What else do you want to do? Meet someone new? We might do that. Um, be friendly with Jackson. We might do that. And then pester someone. He wants to hip up someone because he's feeling energized. Try for a baby. Yes, we will have more babies. We will have more babies. Reach video gaming skill level two. So that's pretty cool. And what does he do? Oh, it's complete for the day. He's played video games. So since he's played video games for the day, I'm actually going to have him go ahead and practice programming because it's never too early to practice that. It's never too early. And look, he does have a moodlet. Big news. Ecstatic after hearing about a new family member. That's so cute. All right. Acquired the programming skill. Jackson's new skill in programming will allow him to hack and practice programming. The higher the level of, of skill, the more hacking opportunities will emerge. So even though this might not have anything to do with his job, I do want him to do it because it's a skill that goes along with his traits and along with his personality. So I am going to have him do that. And Amanda's over here watching some TV right now. She's watching. What is she watching? Sims 3 pets. Oh, I cannot wait till they add pets in The Sims 4. I really want pets. Oh, my God. You guys don't even know. You guys don't even know how bad I want pets in The Sims 4. And we're going to go ahead and have her start reading her pregnancy books. So I'm going to have you come over here. Open that up. And we're going to find volume 1. Here's volume one. We're going to go ahead and read. I wonder how long it'll take to read all these books. There we go. Reach parenting level one. Amanda can now encourage kids' behavior and influence kids to clean. She can now reprimand bad behavior by asking the child not to do that action or simply yelling at the child to stop. She's not going to be the kind of parent that yells at the child. She'll be the one that, you know, tells them calmly, honey. Honey, honey, put that down. Put that down. The dad is going to be like, put that shit down. <laughs> He's going to be the most strict parent ever, but that's only because of how he grew up and how he was raised. So that's that. That's that. No, you're not going to put the book away. And what do you want to do? He's still programming, but he got his skill to level two, which is pretty cool. Programming and video games are definitely two skill sets that I want to work on. But actually, programming might have something to do with his career right now it might i mean it doesn't say it on here yet but i feel like in the future it might have something to do with his career or his profession whatever you want to call it so they're doing that i'm going to go ahead and speed three it while they're doing it what are you doing are you making food 
Put the book on the on the counter. All right, she's hungry, so I'm just gonna have her go ahead and eat some scrambled eggs. You gonna sit down and eat, Amanda? Or are you just gonna stand there? I think she's just gonna stand there. She's so pretty. I'm so happy I put red hair. Look, she's so pretty. I love her with red hair. She looks great with red hair. I might not have her keep that, though, her whole life. I might have her change her hair color eventually. But she's pretty. She's nice and tan. Because they live in the South, you know, so they're, they're both pretty tan. They live where it's sunny. All right, and we're going to go. Whoa, that's a glitch. That's a glitch. That is a glitch. Oh my god, there was no interaction on the book. Look, it's just an empty speech bubble. That's creepy. No, you're gonna read your parenting book. Oh my god, that's a glitch. I've never seen that glitch before. They need to fix this issue. And I just updated my game too much, which I'm really surprised about. Come on, girl. You just gotta get through level one. You're hungry again? Oh, it's because of the bad aftertaste. I was about to say. Whoa, that's a glitch. That We are experiencing glitches. EA, girl, fix it. I just updated my game too. I fixed... I, I, I assumed maybe they would have already fixed the glitches, but... I guess not. All right, let's go ahead and read. Reach programming level three. Awesome. Jackson can now what? What was that? Make friends? Oh, Jackson can now mod games. Let's go. Okay. So let's say make friends on what? Online gaming? What? <laughs> you can now mod a game. So let's... Can we do that? Play incredible sports. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I feel stupid. This... I thought we were still playing video games. We're actually programming. We can all mod. That's cool. We can hack. Make a plugin. Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. Awesome. He's going to be our little nerd. He's going to be our little nerd. And I'm excited for it. Come on. You're almost done, Amanda. Almost done. Don't quit now. Don't stop. There we go. Reach parenting level two. Amanda can now influence kids to do homework. Amanda can now firmly tell her kids not to do bad behaviors. She also can select more options when responding to a teaching moment. That's cool. So I want to have them become basically the best parents ever by the time they have their kid. So that they're prepared to be parents. So is this book done with? Oh, we can still read from the same book. I guess we'll. I guess we have the same book for a few levels. I'd assume. I'd assume. Can I keep reading it? Keep reading. I know you are pregnant and you're gonna have a baby. I want you to keep reading your pregnancy books. Or not your pregnancy, your parenting books. I keep forgetting. In The Sims 3, they're pregnancy books. But in this one, they're called parenting books. And you actually get the parenting skill. So it is a little bit different. I know you don't want to read it, but oh well. And you're hungry as well. You're just going to eat leftovers because we're broke. And yeah, that's, this is how bad it is. This is how bad it is. I might get rid of my custom food. Who the hell made chicken? I might get rid of my custom food, though. Because it does cause glitches. Whoa, you could tell he's tense. He slammed the refrigerator door. Jackson, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Bad. Oh, I can't even read. It's been like this this whole part. I cannot read at all. Like, my brain is fried. I need to eat something. I need to eat something and drink something. Because I kind of rolled out of bed and just started filming. <laughs> what? What is with all these glitches? Oh my god. Brain fry. Too much time trying to program will really get to a sim. Take a break. Okay. Okay, eat your scrambled eggs. And you keep reading your book. They're both experiencing glitches on this couch. I noticed that. I noticed that. I don't know what that's for or when they're going to fix it, but... It's a lot of glitches, and I don't know if I'm happy about oh, yes, yes, go ahead and clean that up, sir. There we go. Okay, it's 10 o'clock at night. He works in the morning, so I'm actually going to go ahead 
Shout forbidden words? What? Since when could you do that? That's cool. Be gross. We can belch or fart. Let's do both. These came with the pack as well. Let's do both. Oh, shit in the flubes. Uh. Oh my god. <gasps> I like how there was a music note after that. That's disgusting. Okay. Go ahead and sleep. I'm gonna have her stay up just a little bit longer. Until she at least gets halfway to level three. Yeah, and she glitched. She glitched again. Where's your book, darling? I'll just keep it in your inventory. Okay, and I'm gonna have you head to sleep. Alright, guys, thank you so much for watching part two. I know it's been kind of boring because we really have nothing to do yet. We don't even have our kid yet. But this is how things are gonna be for maybe another part or two until we start getting the kids rolled out. Once we start getting kids, we're gonna get more money in here and it's gonna get better, I promise. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Links to all that will be in the description below. And I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.